All right, peace, love, and blessings. I am back with another word. Y'all, I'm just busting these words out. Um, So just, you know, if you get tired of me, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure what the name of this message is going to be, but the, the bulk of it is mainly about a plea, a, a personal plea or a confession, okay? Um, so let's get started. So I was seeing the numbers 437, right? And 437 means to acknowledge fully, to confess. It also means I make mutual agreement, I confess, acknowledge, formally admit, give thanks to, to acknowledge fully or confess. It also means to reply by professing or confessing, to agree mutually in turn, to make a compact. So um, for some of you guys, I did a message about, let me see, um, you know, the double-mindedness. And I also talked about them wanting to um, talk to you, okay? And them wanting to plead with you. So this is the second part to the pleading, okay? Um, your person wants another chance, okay? They love you. No, they, they might not have told you verbally. You know, they may have more so shown you through their actions, but your person loves you, okay? And they don't want you to walk away. Your person has been wavering and at a crossroads, okay? But they finally came to a point where they made a decision. Um, they now know what to do. Now, there may be some fear involved, but they made a decision, okay? They see you as their wife. Father took me to Proverbs 31, okay? So they definitely see you as their wife. They see you as a, a person of value, a person of a noble character. Now flip the roles if if need be, okay? But um, I see 909 and that reminded me of Zechariah, Zechariah or Zephaniah. I think it's Zephaniah 9 verses 9. And that, talk, no, it's Zechariah. I'm sorry, y'all. Zechariah 9 verses nine say to the daughters of zion behold your king is coming to you humble and mounted on the donkey on the call the fowl of a beast of a bird um oh hold on yeah rejoice greatly O daughter of zion shout out loud daughter of jerusalem behold your king is coming to you righteous and having salvation is he humble and mounted on a donkey and on the call the fowl of a donkey sorry y'all zechariah nine verses nine okay um, whenever I see nine, nine or nine oh nine, that's what it reminds me of that scripture. Um, so your person will be coming to you to speak to you. You guys will be having a face to face conversation. Um, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all this father has been even the other day, y'all. I a car rolled past me and it said F F T on the back of it. Honey, I said, Oh, somebody's getting ready to get a FaceTime call. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. And even going back to this notes, because God gave me this notes weeks ago, even going back to this, it says this, um, they may come, they may be coming to speak a text or a call or sit face to face or a FaceTime conversation. Okay. They want what God wants for them. They made a decision and being as though they made a particular decision about you. Okay. They have experienced favor in their life. They may have even experienced, oh, 344. Um, they have may even experience, you know, debt cancellation, just miraculously their debt just being canceled. Okay. Because they finally came into alignment with God's will versus their will. Okay. So wherever you're at, the father is just telling you to stay in position. Okay. Don't stay in position. Don't leave until you receive the, the, the gift, the, the, the promise that the father has spoken upon. Okay. They are getting ready to make you their queen. An apology is coming, okay? Um, this apology could also be <laughs> with them being under the influence of wine or them, you know, under the influence. I'm going to just say that. But the veil has been lifted. Their sight has been recovered, okay? Um, to confirm them thinking and just pondering and contemplating. I was seeing the number 357, okay? Um, they understand their assignment. And they're ready for you. So what the father has showed me, he showed me the number is 299, which means blameless. Okay. So they see you without fault. 
they see you without blemish. You know, they see you perfect. You know what I'm saying? You're perfect in their eyes. And I seen 522, which means, um, I believe to take away, let me go to it. Cause I just be flowing y'all. I be knowing, I be knowing it by heart. I be knowing the numbers by heart, but I just want to make sure. Cause I don't, um, yep. It means to lift off, remove, take away. So confirmation 522, they want to come take you away. Okay. And then I also see 484. So whatever way you may have been asking God for assistance, this person wants to be that help for you. 484 means to help. Also thinking about 484, you know, um, or helping, you know, they're your helpmate. So they want to come to you to help you, okay? Um, to help you with the assignment, okay? They may even know and God confirmed it, like what you two are supposed to be doing together. You know, we're entering in a season where the father is sending us out two by two. And now it's not just y'all by yourselves as you being sent out with your spouse to fulfill the assignment of the most high. So again, his sight has been recovered 309. That's what that means. I recovered his sight and I seen 611. So this could be a reply to a text message or some type of message coming through for you, but you have definitely stolen their heart. You, I, you have stolen my heart, my sister, my bride. That's what that reminds me of. And they truly honor and respect you, okay? Um, there could be a celebration even happening, you know, for your next union. I've seen the numbers 226, okay? And so 226 means miracle. So you might have, you might have thought that the situation is dead, but God is still working. And this is a miracle that is going to take place. It's going to blow your mind, okay? Um, let me see. They're definitely clear on our next move, okay? Keep watch, okay? Because you don't know what time or what hour this person is going to be popping up or hitting your phone. Or even with the FaceTime call, y'all, don't <laughs> make sure y'all always look presentable because you know some people just be busting through the FaceTime calls and you be looking like a water buffalo. Like get yourself together. Make sure you, you know, you <laughs> just make sure your face, you know, from at least right here you look presentable. Okay. Cause you just never know. And sometimes you don't have time to just be like, I'll call you back. You know, sometimes you just got to answer and they don't need to be sitting there answering, looking like this, you know, like make sure you look okay. Everything is okay. <laughs> so, um, Matthew 25, that talks about, um, the 10 virgins and how five of them was ready and five of them wasn't ready. Okay. Don't let one of them people don't let that be you when where you're not ready for the return of your spouse, okay? But your person has officially awakened and came to their senses, according to Luke 15, okay? So don't worry. Um, Luke 12, 22, because I've seen 12, 22. Do not worry, okay? There also could be a thank you gift or some type of offering coming as well. I see 133, which means praising the act or um, a thanks offering, okay? So there could be a thank you offering that's coming your way. Um, and let me see. Um, so yeah, just get ready because you will be seeing your spouse very soon. The song that I have for this message is Bryson Tiller, Right My Wrongs. And I'm going to just read it to y'all and I'll let y'all go. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, there's two lyrical messages. So just, just bear with me. So it says, could it be you calling me down, down, down? My foolish heart turns at the stars. All that I am is all that you see. You don't need nobody else and you're putting this all on me. Forgive me. There's a time and a place for all of this. This is not the place for all this. Is there a reason why you're saying all this? And can we talk about it later? I've got to right my wrongs with you is where I belong. You've been down from the go. Recognition is what you want and it's something that I should show. Something that I should know all the things that you went through, girl, I never meant to put you through it twice. So again, you know, this has been an ongoing cycle. Um, you may have gotten just kind of just fed up, you know what I'm saying? And you just wanted them to show you the same love that you've been showing them. You might have just wanted simple recognition and they did not give that to you. And you might have voiced your opinion on how they treat you and they listened to you, but they didn't 
they didn't hear you, okay? And so things didn't change. Um, and so they're coming and apologizing, like, I never meant to put you through this twice. Honey, this don't even have to be twice. This could be the third time, fourth time, fifth time. Either way, they never put you, they never meant to put you through this multiple times and they want forgiveness. It says, could it be you calling me down, down, down? My foolish heart turns at the stars. All that I am is all that you see. You don't need nobody else and you're putting this all on me. Forgive me. I said, you don't need nobody else. Feels like you don't got me. So you feel like you've been by yourself. So, you know, even during this relationship, you might've been together um, before and maybe your person felt like, made you feel like you were alone when y'all were together. I could totally re relate. I remember being with someone and we would sit right next to each other on the same couch or lay right next to each other on the same bed. And it was just a moment of just me still feeling alone. You know, they didn't, it's, it's like, they didn't see you. They look, they seen you, but they didn't see you, you know? Um, and it says, I've been feeling kind of down myself. I've been going through it as well. Girl, I guess time would tell that's the problem. I ain't got any left. Okay. So you might've just said, I, I can't do this no more. I'm over it. I'm cool. I'm throwing in my towel and they may even just know in their spirit, this is a different kind of ending. Okay. This one is, this one is different. This one hits different. It's like, it's like maybe the words that you might've last said to them kind of just was different from how you normally approach the situation when you guys go into separation, you know, he, they know now like time is up. Nobody has time. You know what I'm saying? Time waits for nobody. And you know, okay. So it says, girl, I guess time will tell. That's the problem. I don't, I ain't got left. There are some things I can't help, but you make the time for me. Oh, isn't that something that I should know? It says something that I should know. All the things that you went through, girl, I never meant to put you through twice, but tell me how can I right my wrongs? That's something that I should know. All the things that we went through, girl, I never meant to put you twice. And it says, um, could it be you call, calling me down, down? My foolish heart turns at the stars. All that I am, all that I am is all that you see. You don't need nobody else. And you're putting this all on me. Forgive me. So again, you know, they might feel like you're dealing with somebody else. Um, and, and, you know, we're about to move on to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Cause they haven't been giving you the attention, the effort, the time. And look, it was 1255. So communication is definitely coming. That's confirmation. Um, you, they haven't been giving you the effort or the time. Um, and so it's like, you know, how would they say another man's trash and is another man's treasure? You know, they may even have that in the back of their mind. Like, okay, I'm getting ready to lose her. Um, to somebody else because i feel like deep down in my spirit that she's fed up <laughs> it's over and for some of y'all it is over okay for some of y'all this is just the last separation phase you know make sure y'all take it back to the lord you know um i ain't gonna let me stop because i don't want to confuse nobody make sure y'all take this back to the lord because this could be multiple this could be bought this could be this could be your counterfeit coming to you um for another chance you know them wanting to right their wrongs before you move on um or this could be your kingdom spouse coming to you um because you kind of just threw in the towel with the whole situation so make sure y'all take it back to the lord um you would know if it's for you you would know and so the next song that the father had gave me was um before i let go Okay, so this is kind of livening it up a little bit. So it says, you made me happy. This you can bet. You stood right beside me and I won't forget. And I really love you. You should know. I, I want to make sure I'm right, girl, before I let go. It says, now we had our good times. That's not the same. We're hurting each other. Girl, it's a shame. I won't be foolish. No, no. I want to know. I want to make sure I'm right, girl, before I let go. You know, I think... The sun rises and shines and shines on you. You know, there's nothing, nothing, nothing I would not do. Okay. Oh, oh, before I let you, okay. Before I let you go, it said, I would never, 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 
never, never let you go before I go. Okay. This person is not letting you go. This person is not letting you go. Okay. This could, again, this could be a counterfeit situation. They not letting you go, or this could be your kingdom spouse. They not letting you go. All right. It says, we were so close. I love your charm. Oh, I can't understand it. No. Where did we go wrong? Okay. It says, I won't be asking, girl. I got to know. I got to make sure I'm right before I let go. So they want to make sure they right. They want to make sure things is right. 528. So that's an encounter. They want to make sure they make it right before they allow you to walk out of their life. And then it says, I want to know, blah, 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 blah. And so um, the length of this song was 357, which is confirmation again, because 357 means to consider. It means I think upon and consider attentively. Okay, so they want to write their wrongs. They've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating, um, reconsidering. And again, they made a decision and their decision is to come and write their wrongs, to come and make it right before they let you go. Okay, so I'm out. <laughs> That's it for them for, for that message. I'll be back with um more messages. Um, make sure y'all press the like button if you're not already subscribed to this channel. Be Holy Spirit led. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And you can subscribe if Holy Spirit wants you to subscribe to this channel. Um, if you wanted to book a prophetic coaching session, my information will be in the description box below. Um, and if you wanted to sow into this ministry or sow into this message, my information will be in the description box below as well. Okay. I pray that this message blessed you or confirmed whatever it is in your spirit that you were seeking. Um, and again, I will be back with another word. Peace, love, and blessings. I'm out.